I'm Storm Tracker 18 meteorologist Austin Haskins with your Thursday weather forecast. The big story over the last few days was that huge drop in temperatures we saw from that cold front Tuesday night, and that dropped temperatures in a 24 hour span in Eau Claire. 57 degrees. We went from 62 to 5 degrees, and that is now second all time in the biggest. 24 hour temperature drop in history. Uh, the data going back to 1949, which is when hourly observations began. The current record is 67 degrees, and that was in 1998, uh, November 29th into November 30th. We went from 59 degrees to minus 8 degrees. And fourth place, the most recent one up until this current one, was 2008. At the end of January, we went from 37 degrees to minus 15 degrees. Now, the good news is today we are going to go back up 20 to 30 plus degrees in those temperatures after highs yesterday were only in the teens and low 20s. So quite a difference in today's forecast compared to yesterday. Now, we're not going to be as warm as Monday and Tuesday, but we're going to be back above average by a good you know, 15 degrees or so across the area. Good amount of sunshine today, too. South wind's going to develop, so it's going to be a little bit on the breezy side, so it'll probably feel a few degrees cooler. But at least we're not dealing with those cold temperatures and that northwest wind because that kept temp uh, wind chills in the single digits yesterday. Clear skies tonight, warmer conditions to start the day tomorrow, a warm and sunny Friday, which is the first day of March and meteorological spring as well. And then a few clouds roll in Saturday, but that's mostly going to be early in the day. Then we have a sunny to mostly sunny sky for your Saturday afternoon. Now into Sunday, we'll have a few extra clouds as our next system approaches. And then Sunday night into Monday, there will be a chance for a few showers, possibly a thunderstorm or two as the front moves through. And then if we get cold enough, we could maybe see a little bit of snow mixing in early Monday morning. But models of the last couple of runs have been trending drier overall. So we'll watch the trends on that closely. And then maybe just a very straight chance next week. Models are kind of all over the place on that. Some are keeping things dry. The Europeans keeping us dry. The American GFS is actually showing uh, several days with some rain and snow in the forecast. So that forecast after Monday could change, so we will uh, keep you updated on that. Highs today, though, as I mentioned, much warmer than yesterday. We'll have upper 30s, low 40s, farther north and east. The farther south and west you go, we will get back into the upper 40s and low to possibly even mid 50s, kind of along the Mississippi River. Tonight, mid to upper 20s, low 30s, much warmer start to your Friday. And well, highs tomorrow, mid to upper 50s. A few spots could make a run for 60 degrees. And then on Saturday, most spots should get into the low 60s with 50s farther to the north. Now, going forward, by Sunday, we're up to 70 degrees. We're likely going to shatter some record highs over the weekend. And if we get to 70 on Sunday, which is what I'm forecasting right now, that would also set a record for the earliest first 70 degree day in history. The current record uh, earliest is March 5th and Sunday will be March 3rd. So that would set the record. Following that, as I mentioned, we have that cold front to bring that chance for some precipitation. Following that, as of now, we're keeping things dry with temperatures around 50. But as I just mentioned, things could still change. So stick with us for updates.